Tom Lee explained how the Fed cutting its rates will set up the market for the next two to three months to have very wild returns. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to navigate the market. I'm going to tell you certain important things that you need to watch out for, industries that you need to be invested in. Let me save you some of the time right now. It's going to be cyclical stocks. I'll explain to you what cyclical stocks are in this video and more for making consistent income. Because in this election year, guys, listen, it's a very important year if you want to make money. These next three months can either be plus 20%, plus 10%, or negative 5% if you're not playing things right. So I'm going to be sharing some research here in front of me. As always, my videos are unscripted. And I also want to let you know that I have made a big change. I no longer just sell a Discord. My Discord community is going to continue. However, now I am focusing my efforts on one-on-one -on -one coaching. I will be doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, which will include Discord. Other than that, I'm not doing anything else. I'm no longer going for mass market appeal. I'm giving you guys free research insights here on YouTube. And personally, I'm going to be building really deep and close relationships doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. Right now, there's a lot of demand. I am full. But in the near future, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, either hit that first link in the description or you know, send me an email and we can go from there. All right, Carl, it's, it's exactly what you said. It's cyclicals, which is industrials, financials, and small caps. Right. With a preference for that over your traditional MAG7 tech AI build-out trade? Uh, I think... Tech and MAG7 still keeps up with the market, and that's why if someone owns it and they have tax implications, I wouldn't sell it. But for all these folks that have been sitting on uh, defensive positions or thinking the Fed cut was going to be too late and the market was going to – equity markets were going to fall, I think those folks have to allocate into cyclical stocks, especially small caps, because they are not only sensitive to the cut in rates because of variable rate debt, but – they're going to benefit from the cyclical boost to the economy. It's, it's mortgages, the cost of mortgages drop, auto loans, credit cards, the lift to the consumer, potential M&A. All these are big tailwinds for small caps. I guess then the risk to this, Tom, is that inflation comes back. Right? All right, let's get into the research. So I want to say that um, Tom Lee believes that the recent Fed fund rate cut is going to be paving for a strong performance in the next short term, one to three months. Okay, now why does he think that? Uh, specifically, he was looking at um, U.S. elections, okay? So U.S. elections are big years, and he basically warns that there's still significant uncertainty in the market, particularly leading up into the election cycle. So, guys, look, there is always going to be uncertainty in the market. Whether it's election year or not election year, you always need to be um, aware that you want to be in high-quality stocks, okay? Which we're going to talk about um, MAG7. We're going to be talking about MAG7 in this video as well as industrials, financials, consumers, and energy, all right? So I'm um, way too excited, guys. I'm pumped up. We're going to go buy stuff over tricep, buying the best stocks possible to make money because these next three months, if you're in the right stocks, mm, we're going to get some money here, okay? All right, so look, um, Lee advises basically that investors should focus on cyclical sectors like industrials, financials, small cap, which I don't really agree with. I don't like small cap, guys. Small caps are no-go specifically because small cap stocks have really bad and poor option trading volume. And for me, 100% of my portfolio is in options. I'm either selling puts and covered calls on high quality stocks, or I'm running the wheel strategy, something along those lines. That's all what I'm making videos on, guys. That's the only thing I do. I keep it really simple, and I'm after safe, passive, consistent income for retirement. That's the only thing I focus on. So I don't really have interest in doing the small cap stock, so I'm gonna have to disagree with uh, Mr. Tom Lee on the small cap stuff. But he was saying that he expects there to be an outperformance and economic recovery. I don't know what he's talking about in terms of economic recovery. We're, we're doing fine in terms of stock market returns. Now, of course, I will say that uh, in some ways, the jobs numbers are not that good. And inflation is definitely not good, guys. The inflation, I, I said this in the last video, by the way, inflation is out of control and they're lying to us, but that's in the last video. So go ahead and check that out from yesterday. Um, so look, while tech stocks like Max7, the group, remain solid, Lee believes that cyclicals have more room to grow um, for those reallocating capital. Now look, I wouldn't reallocate capital. I would hold MAG7 right now. NVIDIA, guys, have you taken a look at NVIDIA? You should be invested in NVIDIA, at least 10% of your portfolio, as well as Palantir. I've been talking about Palantir, guys, we're reaching all-time highs. You're either making a boatload of money following my plays, or I'm not sure why you're watching, because we've been making a boatload of money 
on a lot of stocks, especially uh, Apple. Apple is not as hot or popular as Palantir and Nvidia. But listen, my top three plays, Apple, Nvidia, Palantir, and let's talk a little bit more about a couple other stocks. So look, first stock or the first industry is going to be industrials. That's going to be your Caterpillar, okay? Big blue chip stock, Caterpillar. I like it right now. And in general, industrials are companies involved in manufacturing, heavy industry, um, such as construction equipment and machinery. All right. The economy is growing in the United States, right? We are having, although my kind of hometown, Philadelphia, but I have an address in Miami where I have my office and some of my employees slash contractors working at, Miami prices have fallen a lot. And if you look at uh, builders, they're losing, they're actually kind of losing money right now because you see homes in Miami being slashed from 850k down to 550k. You see those big drops right now. Um, but still, I am bullish on industrials, uh, as is Tom Lee, because of the cyclical nature of them. And I do think that interest rates falling is going to present an opportunity, guys, for uh, industrials. Now, listen, the next thing that I want you to invest in or think about having in your portfolio is going to be JP Morgan and Bank of America. Why? Financials, banks and financial institutions, uh, they thrive, their business thrives when consumers borrow money. Guys, borrowing money happens more when interest rates are lower. Interest rates just fell. Therefore, businesses and people will be borrowing more money because it is cheaper. That is very simple. It is a fact, okay? And because businesses are going to be uh, borrowing more money, this means that there's going to be banks that will have more fees. There's going to be refinancing, by the way. You can refinance your home. You can refinance even auto insurance, right? Looking at auto car loans, right? Looking at refinancing, that's more fees for the banks, guys. So the banks, uh, they're like a middleman. They're intermediaries. They collect their fees. They make good money, okay? So I would sell puts on Bank of America and JP Morgan without a doubt. Now, I'm going to be doing that uh, within my one-on-one -on -one coaching now. So I'll be working with, with a select few of you to, to do that. I'm going to be having Zoom calls one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going old school, guys. I'm an old school guy. I've been old school. I've been old school. So I love being old school. <laughs> my dad's old school. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, my dad likes everything simple. He doesn't even use the computer that much. I was talking to my dad. I was like, can you log into your broker? He's like, ah, oh, no, mom does that. I'm like, dad, you got to get it with the technology. You're like, he's born in 1963, my father. So I'm like, dad, come on now. You're not that old. I have students. I have students that are making... 10 to $15,000 a month and they're older than you and they're using the Discord, they're using, you know, they're texting me, whatever. Come on, that anyways. Consumer discretionary, guys, will be the next one. Businesses that sell non-essential goods or services. There's a difference, all right? Write this down, all right? There's consumer discretionary, consumer staples. I don't like consumer staples right now. They're too slow growth and we are trying to get quick growth as fast as possible, obviously. I don't believe in a get rich quick. I believe in safe, steady, passive income. So consumer staples, the only stock I would recommend there is Kraft Heinz. I'm doing covered calls for my double dividend strategy. Okay. If you want to comment down below, I might cover that in a future video. But look, uh, for consumer discretionary, I would be taking a look at airlines. Airlines. I like American Airlines a lot. We've been trading American Airlines in the Discord community, and I plan to continue to, to have a lot of American Airlines as well as Delta. Right now, I'm investing in Delta. Now, the next stock, next industry and stocks are going to be energy. Guys, oil and gas. Oil and gas is a you know the commodity as a commodity. I'm bullish because interest rates go down, but people still need to consume their commodities, right? We're still going to be eating, we're still going to be drinking, we're still going to be uh, transportation. That's not going anywhere, and uh, that is fueled by oil and gas. Now, let me tell you, I am uh, specifically picking stocks in oil and gas right now. It's not something that I, I uh, have a lot of experience in because I was a Guys, I was a, a tech-focused software guy, uh, focusing on that in on Wall Street as well as retail. So I know a lot about Chipotle stock. I know a lot about the restaurant business. I know a lot about retailers. Okay, uh, some of them are very bad. Some of them are very good. I've done extremely well on Chipotle. Uh, I've been showing you guys uh, uh, my positions on all my videos. And actually, you know what? I feel like this won't be an Invest with Henry video if I don't show you my portfolio. Yeah. So let me show you real quick. Um, my position on Chipotle, my portfolio is at $3.3 million, guys, because yesterday was such a good, oh my goodness, yesterday was such a good day. Let me see what my one week is. 1.5%, 50K. I'm aiming for 1% to 2% consistently, week after week. 1.5% um, is a lot, guys. I'll be honest with you. No BS. 
I typically don't do 1.5%. I don't because uh, that would be a huge, crazy compounded return. And the, the students, um, the friends, the, the people I want to work with, you guys have 100K, 50K, 200K. You have a little bit bigger portfolio. And look, 3% a month, which is like very, very average, is a lot of money because you have 200K portfolio. 3% is $6,000 a month. There, I mean, I get it. U.S. is expensive, but that's almost retirement territory. That's a, that's approaching like if you own your house, you own your car, and you're, you don't have that many bills, 6000 a month is pretty good. Now, obviously, we can scale it from there. It takes, it takes some time. It not, doesn't happen overnight, guys. I've been at this for 10 years. I have some white hairs. You know, I'm, I'm, my hair is receding, finally. <laughs> not, not that it's a good thing. I'm kind of upset about this, but I've been at this game for a long time. I actually have the, the experience, the degree. So much opportunity, guys. So much opportunity. 50, let me get back to the point. 50K past week. Um, Chipotle. Let me talk about Chipotle real quick. Because when you look at stocks that are cyclical, which Tom Lee said that he wants, he thinks it's going to be a really good three months, which I agree with, guys. I'm a bull. I'm a permanent bull. I'm a bull on life. I'm a bull on, on the stock market. I'm a bull on option trading. I actually put my money where my mouth is, guys. I've been a trader for 10 years. We got the portfolio of 3.3 million. I'm pumped up, like literally pumped up. It's crazy. How, how well we're doing. Uh, Chipotle, I'm up 1970. Nothing too crazy, right? I got 1,000 shares. Now, look, my average cost is 55. I would say right now, jump into uh, Chipotle with a $60 covered call for October 18 expiration. Now, why? Because looking at Chipotle, I'm, I'm bullish on Chipotle. I've done a lot of research. I want to cut this video, not, not make it like 30 minutes long, but Chipotle, good business, growing same store sales reasonable price earnings ratio it's not the best the price earnings ratio is a little bit high all right i'm gonna admit but the brand's strong and uh they're gonna go from 3,000 stores to um to like 6,000, 9,000 in the next couple of years in a few years guys so look at this price right now i think it's very good to do a covered call 60 60 covered call you buy 100 shares you sell a 60 covered call for october 18 and just collect that income you can also sell some puts for optimal entry here at the 55 uh, strike price on Chipotle, as well for the October 18 expiration date. Now, look, let me let me wrap it up here with uh, cyclical stocks, how you should be invested and why. All right. First of all, high volatility. OK, uh, it, cyclical stocks tend to experience significant price swings depending on economic conditions. All right. The economic conditions right now are conducive for higher implied volatility. The VIX isn't that high right now, but we're going to get opportunities, guys, in the next couple of weeks. I pretty much guarantee it, right? 99.9%. We're going to have pullbacks and we're going to have opportunities to jump into Bank of America, JP Morgan. We're going to be able to jump into ExxonMobil, Schlumberger, Chevron, okay? These type of stocks are the best type of stocks for retirement. They're safe. They're consistent. Some of them pay dividends and you do covered calls and sell puts on them. You're going to be making money. It's not that hard, okay? You're not going to make a million dollars overnight. I'm not a day trader. I'm not a swing trader. I'm not a Forex trader, crypto, none of that good stuff, guys. I just sell options for income. That's what I've been doing for 10 years. That's why you see me living in hotels and traveling and having the life that I that I want. My life is better than a billionaire. I live better. Why? Do I have more money? No, I don't have more money, but I have more freedom because option trading barely takes any time. I am opening positions Monday and Wednesday during my Discord calls. I mentioned I'm not just selling Discord anymore. I'm going one-on-one. -on -one. So it's going to take a lot more of my time, but I have time because I enjoy what I do. I enjoy option selling. It is so easy. It allows me the time to actually work with people and have one-on-one -on -one conversations, stuff like that, because this is passive income. This is not an active income source, okay? I really hate it when students come on and they're just like, I have 50 positions. I have this and this and this. The first thing I do is I say, let's clean things up together. What do you like? What do you absolutely love? And what don't you love? And I start to go position by position. We need to sell this. This doesn't look good. You're losing money here. Let's do some tax loss harvesting. Uh, this, is a, this is up a lot. I don't like this stock, but you are up a lot of money on it. So we can't sell it because you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes. Which state are you in? How much taxes do you have? Do you have an LLC? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's how I go on my calls. That's when I have my one-on-one -on -one calls. That's how it looks like. All right. And for me, this is passive income. I only go for passive income. So when I'm looking at stocks, they need to be... When I'm looking at options and stocks, that's why I prefer right now going for monthly expiration dates. I only want to trade monthly options because that is less work. I do not do no zero DTE trading for the most part. I don't do too many spreads, too many iron condors.
guys, that's cool. I cover on my channel. I did that in the past, but I've been I've been burnt out lately from from the small account trading stuff, and I just want to focus on just just one on one coaching and just honestly doing what I do because I have a bigger portfolio. I'd rather work with folks that also have 100k, 150k. I mean, you can start off with you know 25k. That's fine. That's a decent starting point. But when you have 50k, 100k to work with, life is just so much easier. So you know it's just way easier to work with. Now look. Uh, also, I want to say that Nike has been a very good play. Um, Amazon has is is very strong for for the rest of 2024. And uh, Tesla, guys, Tesla, I um, uh, I, I closed down my computer, so I don't have it in front of me no more. But Tesla, I have a position. I'm selling put options because I want to acquire more Tesla. I think that the business is in a very strong spot. So, anyways, with that being said, I mainly agree. Um, I mainly agree with Tom Lee. I think that uh, if you want to navigate this market properly, look at the cyclical stocks, pick the right positions, enter for, for a decent price, and sell covered calls for income. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Listen, guys, you can definitely change your life in the next three months. So stay focused, keep investing, be smart, keep educating yourself. If you made it this far in the video, you're clearly determined, you're clearly smart, and I'm very proud. I'm very proud of you. So. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I'm going to keep making really good videos here to teach you how to make more money. I'm here for you. I'm supporting you every single day. I'm going to do everything possible so we can keep winning together as a family. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video.